what is up welcome back to my channel now today i have a very exciting video for you and that is i'm going to be going through the very best items that i have from yesstyle in my collection now i have shopped so much from yesstyle which is probably why i'm so broke but that also means that i have quite a few items you know piled up in my collection and today i'm just going to be going through them and picking the very best the crop of the cherry the cherry of the crop the very best items to show you guys now these items come from the categories of clothes makeup skincare and jewelry so if you're interested then just keep watching now just a quick disclaimer i do have an affiliate link with yesstyle which means that i earn a small commission off of your purchase so you're not spending more money i just earn a little bit of that profit that you spend and also this video is not sponsored by yes style so everything that i'm mentioning in this video i purchased with my own money so yeah let's get started okay so let's start with clothes and i decided to pick my absolute favorite from tops bottoms and skirts so my favorite top would be this top over here from yes style now first of all let's talk about its material and quality I think this top is probably the best quality top that I've ever gotten from YesStyle. So I don't know what its material is called, but it's got this ribbed kind of patterning on it. And the material is super stretchy and also thick. And overall, it is just so soft to touch and wear and it is so comfortable. Because the material itself is so stretchy, it means that it can fit a wide variety of sizes. And it also means that if you're wearing this in the winter or like the colder days, it is going to hug onto your skin and it will be really, really warm to wear. Next, let's talk about its design. I really love this V-neck that it has here to kind of show off your decolletage area. And I also like how it has this ruched detailing in the middle of the shirt. Now, since the little ruched detailing is adjustable, you can pull down the strap so that it creates kind of a crop top for you to wear if you like that style, or if you're going to wear this top in one of the warmer days. Now, if you're wearing it in one of the colder days, you can just kind of pull down the ruche so that the top is covering your entire body. And there you go, you have a top to wear for winter. So I really love how versatile this top is, like you can wear it for the summer and the winter. And yeah, it's just a very flattering and comfortable top to wear overall. So from the skirt category, my absolute favorite skirt would be this mini pink A-line skirt right here. I love that the pink isn't a hot pink. It's like kind of this muted pale pink, but that's also vibrant at the same time. And yeah, it's just so flattering on your body. Now, because the skirt kind of has like an A-line and it kind of flares a little bit out at the bottom, it means that it's going to make your legs look skinnier, which I really, really like. And I also think the length is perfect. Quality-wise, there's nothing really to complain about this skirt. I mean, it's a pretty good skirt. And I also love how, give me a sec, it has kind of this lining at the bottom. So it's actually a pant lining, which means that you are not going to flash even if the wind blows your skirt up. So it's got you well and protected. And I just love that little detail so much. Now for bottoms, I had to choose between long pants and shorts and it was such a hard decision but I'm going to go with this pair of denim shorts. So the quality of these denim feels so good. They are more of that stiff type of denim so it's not really that stretchy but it doesn't really matter. Once you kind of break them through, they are very, very comfortable. Now these denim shorts are also very high-waisted so they sit just above my belly button which really helps to elongate my legs. This is just a super comfortable and nice pair of denim shorts and I love them very much. That is it for the clothing section and now we're going to move on to jewellery. So if you don't know, I actually have quite an extensive collection of Yes Style jewellery. I made an entire video covering everything in my collection which I'll pop up right here. So if you're interested, definitely go and give it a watch. But today in this video, I'm just going to pick my absolute favorite and show you guys. Now, since I own so many pairs of YesStyle earrings, I couldn't just pick one, so I'm going to pick three. Don't kill me, I know, but it was just so hard. But the first pair would be these rhinestone earrings. Personally, I love how dainty they look and they really go with any look. So if you're going to a formal, you know, they're perfect. If you're going to work, you can wear them. If you want to go out to brunch with your friends and want to dress up your outfit, you can wear these. They're really nice. The next pair of earrings is more on the fun side. 
and they are these heart shaped earrings i love the little heart that they have and also the pearl detailing on the earrings i just think it really helps to elevate any outfit and yeah they're super cute and finally my absolute favorite are these hoop earrings so i am a hoops kind of gal and you know sometimes hoops can become kind of boring but these hoops have that twisted detailing on them which i absolutely love i just think it is such a fun way to add a twist to the classic hoops and yet yeah, these are such a staple in my everyday jewelry collection so necklace wise i do have one favorite necklace because a lot of the necklaces that i get from yourself are more of a miss than a hit but my favorite necklace would be this kind of silver pendant necklace now it is very very dainty and it rests just on the middle of your collarbone which really helps to emphasize your entire decolletage area and since it is so sparkly it is very dainty but at the same time eye-catching and that's what i really love about this necklace moving on to makeup i have three items to show you and the first item that i want to talk about is this eyeshadow palette from 3ce that's called overtake apart from my james charles palette this is probably my absolute favorite palette and I just really love how versatile it is. So first of all, all of its colors are from the same color scheme. So they all have that red undertone to it. But at the same time, looking at the palette, you have your transition shades. And you also have your darker shades to kind of help darken out your outer corner. And you also have this darker shade here, which you can either use to line your eyes or add even more dimension to your eyes by using it as like, you know, on your outer corners. And finally, you have these super sparkly shades here, which really help to just make your eyes pop. And I just love this palette so much. So the next product that I want to talk about is this Volumized and Curl Mascara from Kiss Me. Now, because my lashes are those typical Asian lashes that are short and also droopy and have a lot of difficulty holding a curl, this mascara is basically my lifesaver. So with normal mascara, I'll kind of curl my lashes, but within like an hour, my lashes will kind of droop back down. And what happens is that the mascara that is on those lashes come into contact with my under eye and transfers onto my under eye, which means that, you know, within a few hours, I go from glam to panda. So this is where this mascara comes in and basically saves my life. So this mascara is waterproof. And it holds the curl of my lashes so, 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 so well, which means that it doesn't smudge on my under eye area. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this mascara is that it is so difficult to remove. And a lot of people complain about the same thing as well. But if you use an oil cleanser, which I will talk about soon, it is quite easy to remove. So all you need is an oil-based cleanser and not a water-based cleanser. And finally, the third item, which I love, would be this tinted lip balm from 3CE in the shade Pepper. So as you guys know, my lips are quite dry. So when I apply lipstick, especially matte liquid lipsticks, they often kind of um, settle into the cracks of my lips and also emphasizes them, which let's be honest, is not an attractive look. Since this is a tinted lip balm, it's going to give my lips kind of that satin moisturized look which, yeah, it kind of just basically hides the dryness of my lips. And finally, let's move on to skincare. And again, I have three products to show you guys, which are my absolute favorite. So every time I do a full face of makeup like this, I like to go in with an oil-based cleanser, as I mentioned before in my video, to kind of go in and melt all of that makeup and foundation off of my face. And the one that I use is the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. As I said, this is a little balm and they did give you a little spatula thing to kind of scoop the balm out and keep it all hygienic, but I lost it. So I'm just going to go in with my fingers. But yeah, this balm is so effective in kind of melting all of my makeup off, even if it's waterproof. As I said, my mascara is waterproof and I use this makeup remover to remove it really, really easily. This makeup remover is also super gentle. It doesn't aggravate or irritate my skin, which yeah, it's... Just good in every single way, I guess. So next up is a cleanser that I use every single day. And it is this low pH good morning gel cleanser from CauseRx. So this cleanser actually has a pH of 5.5, which is basically the pH that we have on our skin. And that is perfect because if you're using a cleanser with a pH that is too acidic, it's going to increase oil production from your skin and you're going to look extra oily. However, if you're using a cleanser that has a pH that is too high, so it's too basic, 
your skin is going to get very dry and sensitive which is why i love this cleanser so much because its ph matches the ph of my skin so this cleanser also contains tea tree oil to help control excess sebum production and it also contains a natural bha which is basically an exfoliator to help kind of exfoliate away the dead skin cells on your face and finally i'm going to talk about this toner which is so 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 good um, I bought it after I saw Gotham Vista recommend it and boy do I not regret it. So this toner has a pH of 5.5 which helps to balance the pH on your skin and it also helps to clean any residue dirt that you might have on your face. So what Olivera does is that it uses olive extracts to kind of help boost antioxidants on your skin but it also focuses on strengthening your skin barrier. So this product also contains microhyaluronic acid which penetrates into the deeper layers of your skin and helps with water retention to keep your skin kind of moisturized and nice and supple and also contains the magic ingredient Centella Asiatica which really helps to soothe your skin and calm any inflammation. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found this video useful and liked some of the items that I personally love very, very much. Don't forget that if you want to order, you can use my code, Hooded Eyes, for an additional discount off of your order. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me which item was your favourite. And give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of things that you guys don't see on YouTube. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!